Wow, I am super excited to share something really cool with you. OpenAI recently released their ChatGPT API and their Whisper API, and somebody else has figured out how to create an actual voice assistant using these APIs, and I'm about to show you how it works. So recently, OpenAPI, it's OpenAI, released the ChatGPT and Whisper APIs. We're all very familiar with ChatGPT and what it does, but we may not be familiar with Whisper. Whisper essentially will take audio that you provide it and translate that into text or transcribe it into text. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at an example of utilizing an app that we built to record ourselves speaking using the Whisper API to transcribe our audio into text and then sending that text through the ChatGPT API to have a conversation with a virtual assistant. Now, many of you know I am not a developer, so I did not create this. I cannot take credit for this. The creator of what I'm going to show you can be found on the Part-Time Larry YouTube channel, and I will provide a link to his video on this in the description in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over just real quick and show you the Python code. This is a Python application. And you can see right off the top, we're importing some libraries. We have Gradio, we have OpenAI. Now, one of the critical pieces that you need to do here is you need to provide your OpenAI API key, which if you go into their website, log in, go underneath your account settings, there's a section where you can create your API key. And then you basically need to provide that here. In this example, I have it in a separate file called config.py and that's where I put my API key, but that way I can use it just as uh, a variable here. Then you can see with the ChatGPT API, one of the things that you need to do is you need to define its role. So in this case, the role is system. So this is essentially setting the context of what the actual chatbot is going to be. So in this case, I said, and you can type whatever you want here, but this is just the context of the chatbot itself. You are a counselor who has a goal of helping people make decisions. Your job is to ask questions to help get to the root of any issues or concerns. Ultimately, you should help the user come to a confident conclusion. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use Gradio to create just a very basic app interface that we can then use our microphone to record audio. That audio is going to then be sent over the Whisper API and transcribed from audio into text. That text is then going to be sent to the ChatGPT API, and then the ChatGPT API will respond back with text. We're then using, in this case I'm on a Mac, we're going to use the Mac native speech functionality which on a Mac, if you just type at a command prompt, say, and then what you want it to say, it'll leverage a voice that you can then, that you can set within your preferences on your Mac. So I've gone ahead and set all that, all that up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and start our application up here. And you'll see that it's provided me this link here that I can go to. So I'm going to come over here and you're going to see on the left hand side, this is where we're going to be recording our audio through our microphone. And on the right hand side, this is going to keep track of the output of our conversation in a text format. So to start out with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record using the microphone my name and what I'd like to talk about. Hi, my name is Brian, and I'd like to talk about adopting a pet dog. And so what you'll do is you can then play this and you'll be able to hear what you just recorded. Hi, my name is Brian, and I'd like to talk about adopting a pet dog. So once we are happy with what we recorded, we can then click submit. That is then, like I said, going to send that audio to the Whisper API, transcribe it to text, send it to ChatGPT, over Hi the API. Brian. That's a great topic to discuss. Can you tell me a bit more about why you're interested in adopting a pet dog? What has drawn you to this decision? 
Well, to be quite honest, my wife really wants to adopt a dog. That is the only reason I'm asking about it. I see. Have you and your wife discussed the responsibilities of owning a dog? Owning a pet is a big commitment, and it's important to make sure that both you and your wife are fully prepared for the responsibilities that come with it. What are your thoughts on this? Well, honestly, I tend to be more focused on the details than she is. She would rather just have this fluffy little animal that she can pet and take care of and spend time with all day long. Understandable. Adopting a dog can indeed be a great source of joy and companionship, but it does require a lot of time and effort. It's important to take into account what kind of breed would be most compatible with your lifestyle, whether you have the space for a pet, and whether you have the time and resources to take care of it. Have you and your wife talked about these things? Do you have any concerns or questions about the responsibility of being a pet owner? So as you can see, so far it's doing a pretty good job of being a counselor and it's asking me some probing questions open-ended questions for me to answer and provide more context. Could you provide me one example of a family-friendly breed of dog, as well as one example of a non-family-friendly breed? Sure. There are many breeds of dogs that are considered family-friendly. Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retrievers are just two examples of breeds that are often recommended for families with children. They are generally friendly, easy to train, and great with kids. On the other hand, some breeds like pit bulls or Rottweilers are often considered less family friendly. This is because they have a reputation for being aggressive or difficult to handle. However, it's important to note that each individual dog is unique, and factors such as training, socialization, and the environment they are raised in can have a big impact on their behavior. That's why it's essential to do research and talk to professionals if you're considering adopting a dog. What are a few key things that I should think about before adopting a dog? There are many things to consider when adopting a dog. Some key things to think about include 1. Your lifestyle. Consider how much time you have to devote to a pet, including regular exercise, training, and playtime. 2. Your home environment. Do you have space for a pet? And is your living situation appropriate for the kind of dog you're considering? 3. Your family situation. Are there children or other pets in the home that may impact your decision or require special consideration? 4. The breed and individual needs of the dog. Certain breeds have specific needs or tendencies that may require more attention or care, and each individual dog may have unique needs or preferences. 5. The financial commitments. Beyond the initial adoption fees, breeding, grooming, training, veterinary care, and pet supplies can add up quickly. 6. The time commitment. Dogs are social creatures and need attention and companionship from their owners. Consider whether you have enough time and energy to give your dog the attention, affection, and training they need. By thinking about these things and any other factors that may be relevant, you will be better equipped to make a decision that works best for you, your family, and the dog. So before I go, should I adopt a dog if it's going to make my wife happy? While it's admirable that you want to make your wife happy, adopting a dog is a big decision that should not be taken lightly. It's important that both you and your wife are on the same page when it comes to the responsibilities of pet ownership and that you'll be able to provide the love, care, and attention the dog needs. If you have any doubts or concerns, it's important to bring them up with your wife and to do some research together. Ultimately, you want to make sure that the decision to adopt a dog is one that you both feel confident and excited about. Thank you very much for your help. You're very welcome. If you have any other questions or concerns in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day. So one of the other things that I think is pretty cool, I don't know how to code this, but I've also been looking into Eleven Labs for doing voice synthesis. So if I just take this response right here from the assistant and copy it, and then come over to Eleven Labs and paste that in. I'm gonna use one of their pre-made voices. In this case, the name is Bella. 
and you can control things like stability of the voice, clarity, and similarity enhancement. I'm just going to leave this stuff as it is right now, and I'm just going to say generate, because this creates really realistic sounding voice synthesis. Understandable. Adopting a dog can indeed be a great source of joy and companionship, but it does require a lot of time and effort. It's important to take into account what kind of breed would be most compatible with your lifestyle, whether you have the space for a pet, and whether you have the time and resources to take care of it. Have you and your wife talked about these things? Do you have any concerns or questions about the responsibility of being a pet owner? So as you can see, that's way better than the system voice on the Mac OS. And there's a variety of different voices you can use to do these things. Here's one that I did. It's just a really quick sample. I provided like 30 seconds of audio of my own voice. So let's see how that comes out. Understandable. Adopting a dog can indeed be a great source of joy and companionship, but it does require a lot of time and effort. It's important to take into account what kind of breed would be most compatible with your lifestyle. Kind of gives me an accent. Whether you have the space for a pet and whether you have the time and resources to take care of it. Have you and your wife talked about these things? Do you have any concerns or questions about the responsibility of being a pet owner? So I guess I could have a conversation with myself if I wanted to. <laughs> I'd, I'd always be right in that, right? Anyways, as you can see, this is pretty powerful. Uh, we're, we're taking advantage of some open source technology as well as APIs from OpenAI. And I can only imagine that it's going to be getting better than it is now in a very short amount of time.